the Center for Brain and Cognition classed uh, five different labs which are interested in uh, investigating which are the mechanisms, uh, the neuronal, cortical, and synaptic mechanisms uh, underlying uh, brain functions. So the brain functions that uh, we are studying here uh, are uh, simple brain functions like, for example, uh, perceptions, visual, auditory, tactile perceptions, the integration of the different modalities, multisensorial integration, uh, attentional aspects, uh, memory aspects, and even complex functions like, for example, decision making or the perception and production of language. The unit of brain and cognition is relatively new, was founded uh, last year during the 2009 and it's composed uh, by 70 researchers. The speech acquisition and perception group is interested in understanding how humans, both adult and infants, are able to learn the native and the second language and also how they are able to understand the speech. Our research exploring how babies growing up in bilingual environments and understanding how they are able to cope with the two languages has been both pioneer and has opened a new research line. Recently, we are interested in understanding the origin of individual differences in second language uh, learning. To this end, we are studying the differences in speech processing of identical twins. To advance our knowledge in this field, we need the collaboration of individuals. People interested in our project may contact us. In RICO Group, we are interested in studying the uh, cognitive abilities of the babies, and um, in concrete, we study ad uh, language acquisition and also the reasoning. For example, how they understand numbers or logical abilities. Uh, for example, if we want to um, evaluate how uh, infants predict uh, future events, um, we, um, we show them two kinds of, of situations, one probable situation and one improbable situation. So they uh, have a prediction and if the, if the real result coincides with their prediction, they have uh, a reaction and if it doesn't coincide, it has another reaction. I'm the coordinator of the speech production and bilingualist group. Our group focuses on those processes that are involved in the production of a speech and, we, and explores also which are the brain basis of those processes and how, how those processes interact with other uh, domain general abilities. We pay special attention uh, to bilingual participants and uh, we aim at studying how these bilinguals control their two languages during the speech production. That is, we ask how is it possible that we focus in one language while avoiding interferences from the other language. We explore these issues by making use of techniques from the experimental psychology and also paying special attention to those, uh, to those uh, speakers that due to uh, brain damage they have problems during language production. Finally, we also explore the brain activity of some participants during speech production tasks by recording the electrophysiological activity are doing such tasks. My name is uh, Salvador Soto and I'm the director of the Multisensory Research Group at the uh, Department of Technology, University Pompeu Fabra. And we are a group of about 10 people who are doing either their uh, PhD research or they're doing a postdoctoral research uh, here with us. Our main goal is to understand the neural and also the cognitive processes that are involved when we are perceiving information from uh, different sensory modalities. And our mm, methods of uh, research are quite varied, uh, including psychophysics or neuropsychology, also neurophysiological recordings and neuroimage. Our funding comes mainly from uh, three sources, uh, Spanish government, the Catalan government, and also the European Research Council. In the computational uh, and theoretical neuroscience group, uh, we try to integrate uh, different experimental data uh, associated with the different brain functions uh, in a theoretical model so that we can understand from a mathematical and mechanistic point of view uh, in which way the brain compute these brain functions. So these type of models are not only integrating uh, the, the data that uh, we are gaining uh, 
through the collaborators in this university, but also include uh, single cells recordings, electrophysiological data so in animals in general, primates or rats, which uh, we get from our collaborators.